Hello everyone. Welcome to Teachers Help Board. Hello children. Today we are going to learn a new lesson in EVS festivals and their celebrations. So, now we will learn the main religious and national festivals and their celebrations. The first religious festival is Gudi Padwa. People in Maharashtra and many other states celebrate this festival of Gudi Padwa. It is the beginning of the Hindu New Year. It falls on the first day of the month of Chaitra. On this day, people hang a piece of cloth on a raised pole outside the house. New activities are started on this day as this day is considered as an auspicious day for them. The second religious festival is Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar Jayanti. Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar is known as the champion of the depressed classes. He was conferred the title of Bharat Ratna. Every year his birth anniversary is celebrated on 14th of April with great enthusiasm throughout the country. On this day, people gather and take out procession. They recollect his great works and praise his good qualities. Third Religious Festival Naga Panchami Nag Panchami is celebrated on the fifth day of the waxing moon in the month of Shravan. Jaist and Ashat month is the time for flowering and fruiting of the new crop. At this time, the snake helps the farmers by destroying the rats nibbling away at their crops. So we celebrate Nag Panchami where people pray to the snake. We can also call it as Cobra for his kind help. Fourth religious festival Pateti Pateti is a festival of the Parsi community. It is the New Year Day for the Parsi community people. They go to the Agyari. It is also known as the Fire Temple to burn incense and offer prayers to the holy fire. Fifth religious festival is Raksha Bandhan. Raksha Bandhan is celebrated on the full moon day in the month of Shravan. It is the festival of brothers and sisters. The brother promises to take the responsibility of taking care of the sister and the sister in turn prays for his brother for the prosperity and for the good health. On this day, sister ties a raki on the brother's wrist and the brother in turn gives her gifts. Next religious festival is Janmashtami. Janmashtami is the day on which Lord Krishna was born. On this day, a procession is taken out throughout the city. In Maharashtra, the Hiandi, that is a pot with curds, that is hung at a great height. Groups of Govindas move from street to street, form human pyramids by climbing one over the other to reach the Dahiyandi pot and break it to celebrate this festival just as Lord Krishna did in Gokul. Seventh religious festival is Ganpati or Ganesh Chaturthi. Ganesh Chaturthi is one of the most important festival for Hindus. This festival is celebrated all over Maharashtra and even in Andhra Pradesh also. During this festival, Ganesh idols are kept in homes and public places also. They are decorated with a lot of lightning and also with lot of decorative items. Lord Ganesh is worshipped for 10 days. During this period, 
a number of activities and programs are also conducted the festivals ends on the 10th day that is the day on anant chaturdashi when immersion of the idol of lord ganesha takes place immersion means putting something into a liquid which will completely cover the next religious festival is gandhi jayanti many people struggled and sacrificed their lives to achieve freedom for our country many leaders were there but mahatma gandhi's work was with the extreme importance his birthday falls on 2nd of october so this day is celebrated as gandhi jayanti on this day programs like village cleanliness self dependence and other such programs are conducted the ninth religious festival is navratri navratri is a festival of hindus and it is celebrated all over india in different ways well lit pandals are put up everywhere and goddess amba or durga is worshiped gujaratis celebrate this festival by dancing garba or ras while in west bengal and in south india it is celebrated as durga puja this festival is celebrated with great pomp and show the 10th religious festival is dasara dasara falls on the 10th day of the bright half of ashwin on this day ram killed ravana in lanka the effigy of ravana is burnt just as the evil is burnt out in each and every one of us it is also known as vijayadashmi in maharashtra the leaves of the apta tree are given to one another to express good wishes the 11th religious festival is diwali diwali is a festival of lights it is also one of the most important festival that is celebrated throughout the country on this day the dark night of ashwin amavasya lakshmi puja is performed everywhere lights and lanterns are lit up this festival is carried on for 4 days children burst crackers and the elders exchange sweets greet friends and relatives ramzan eid ramzan eid is an important festival of muslims it is a festival that spreads happiness after the month of ramzan or the month of fasting people celebrate eid after seeing the moon in the sky all the muslims go to the masjid to pray the next religious festival is guru nanak jayanti guru nanak was the founder of the sikh religion it is celebrated on the full moon night of kartik that day is celebrated as guru nanak jayanti the sikhs go to the gurudwara to pray and chant hymns they also serve food called lager to the devotees the next religious festival is bakrid bakrid is one of the main festival of muslims on this day the muslims get together in the masjid and pray under the guidance of the muslim priest they listen to the religious sermon after the sermon everyone greets one another they go home and sacrifice an animal called goat next religious festival is christmas jesus christ was born on the 25th of december his birthday is celebrated as christmas it is an important festival for christians they go to church and pray they even make sweets and distribute them among friends and relatives the christians 
decorate their homes with Christmas tree and also with many decorative items. People make crib at their home. Santa Claus will visit their homes and give them gifts. The next religious festival is Makra Sankranti. Makra Sankranti is celebrated on 14th of January throughout the country. This marks the end of the cold season. In Gujarat, there are international kite flying competitions and thousands of colorful kites fill the sky. The next religious festival is Shivaji Jayanti. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was the founder of Hindvi Swaraj in Maharashtra. His birth anniversary is celebrated as Shiva Jayanti throughout the country. Especially in Maharashtra, it is celebrated with great enthusiasm. On this day, a magnificent procession is taken out depicting pictures of selected occasion of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaja's life. Next religious festival is Holi or Dulivandan. Holi is a festival of colors. It is also one of the most important festival of Hindus. On the first day, the Hindus light the holy bonfire and pray to God. And on the second day, they throw colors on one another. They also spray colored water on each other. This is a great enjoyment festival for all the people and also for children. The next religious festival is Mahavir Jayanti. Mahavir Jayanti is a festival of Jains. Sri Vardhaman Mahavir, the 24th Tirthankar, was born on this day. The Jains decorate their temples and take out processions. The festival of Mahavir Jayanti is celebrated all over India. The next religious festival is Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday marks the rebirth of Jesus Christ. After he was nailed to the cross on Good Friday, he rose from the dead after three days. This is what the Christians believe. They celebrate this festival as Easter Sunday with lot of enthusiasm, distributing Easter eggs made of chocolates and sugar to friends and relatives. Now we will learn about national festivals. National festivals. The first national festivals we are going to learn is Independence Day. Our country got freedom on the 15th of August 1947. Every year on this day we celebrate our Independence Day. On this day all the states hoist and salute the national flag. They sing the national song. We celebrate this day with great patriotism and pride. Second National Festival Republic Day Republic Day is celebrated every year on 26th of January. On this day, all the states hoist and salute the national flag. They salute it and sing the national anthem. And many programs Cultural programs or activities are also conducted. There is a well-organized parade and program organized at Rajpath in Delhi, a capital city. The next national festival is Maharashtra Day. Maharashtra Day was founded on the 1st May of 1960. So, 1st May is celebrated as Maharashtra Day. On this day, in Mumbai, the capital city of Maharashtra, a number of programs like flag hoisting, parade, cultural activities, etc. are conducted. Such programs are also carried out in other parts of Maharashtra at state, district and taluka levels.